Welcome back everybody, I'm Matt Hernandez and today we're going to talk about the difference between a haze machine and a fog machine. Okay, so I've done several videos that involve atmosphere in my photos and I can achieve that a lot of different ways. We can use atmosphere aerosol, we can use haze machines, fog machines, you can use water, mist, dust, anything that's going to fill up in the air that will catch the light and spread it out can really add a cool effect. These are two of my favorites. And one of the reasons why is because you usually don't have to have an assistant to use them. So this one's gonna run consistently, like once you turn it on. This one's gonna run when you, when you tell it to, basically. This one has a remote. And I'm gonna link both these in the description below. This is a Hurricane 1DX. It's about $250 on Amazon. This one is a, an American DJ VF1300. It's about 150, I think. And it comes with the remote, like I said, which makes it really handy. So they both achieve a similar effect. If you let them run for a little while, they build up fog in a room. This one's gonna do it gradually. This one's gonna have big bursts of fog. So they can be very different, and they are very different how they achieve it, and they can have a different look because of that when the fog is actually you know, coming out of the machine. So one thing you can do with this one is you can put it behind somebody and then you can create a big cloud and then backlight it maybe with a gel and create a really cool effect. I've got a video on that actually, if you guys wanna check that out, we'll link it so you can get a more in-depth idea of how that um, scenario could, could work. And then this one is just gonna run, there's, there's three settings on it, low, medium, and high, depending on how much fog you want to come out. It'll just fill the room up quicker, but it's not gonna create as dramatic of an effect while it's coming out as this one. It can be pretty dramatic, but not quite as much. So let's take a look at at what we got for the shoot that we set up to, to demonstrate this. So this first one's gonna be the fog machine. So we've got a Westcott X-Drop Pro with a black background, two FJ400s with pro light mods up top to simulate stadium lights. And we've got a Manny Ortiz Beauty Dish camera left that's feathered just to kinda, as a third edge light almost, just to make it really dramatic. So you can see here the fog coming out. It comes out pretty strong and there's just one setting. So, that can, that can also be cool because you can layer the effect. So you've got the, the, the fog that's already in the room, which kind of is kind of dense, and then when it comes out, that's gonna create that more detailed puff of smoke right there, which, so that's gonna, if you had that in front of somebody, it could really create depth when it's down on the ground like that. You know, but it just, it adds, it adds a, a few more layers to, to what you're doing rather than just, you know, dense fog in the room. So you can see it right there. So let's take a look at a couple of the pictures that we got. So I think I may have had that beauty just turn that way down on that one. Just to kind of create just a little bit of fill. You can see there's that little puff of smoke at the bottom like you just saw in the video. Creating layers and depth, which can really be neat. And then, okay, so then now let's take a look at the, at the haze, see the difference. Okay, so now you can see it's coming out decently strong too, not quite as powerful. So depending on the setting, obviously it's gonna fill the room up quicker. So one thing you really gotta watch though, or know about is the fact that if you have a big fan in the room or air conditioning or anything like that, it's really gonna suck that atmosphere out of the room depending on the size. So my studio is about 1500 square feet, so it's not huge, but the air, when it's going, will affect this definitely. And so I turned it off while we were shooting just to make sure. But that, so that, that's when a, an example of when you, if you had to shoot in a room like that, you might want to use the fog machine instead because it's going to come out a lot stronger. So let's take a look here. So here's a couple of pictures from the Hayes portion after he changed out of his baseball uniform. And you can see that the light mods are still, the light's still being spread out, but there's not nearly as much as, in which I had it turned down as, as before with the fog machine. So that's the haze, obviously. And then this is also haze. It's a little bit stronger than this one. So this is, this is a setting of one, and this is an upward basketball I, when I shot earlier this year, that's my son. And that, this, so that's a, a setting of three. So that's, that's significantly stronger, obviously. Still not quite as much as that though. Okay, so then here's an example of a, of a time when I had to use the fog machine specifically because I was in a big room and I had you know 30 kids, I had to get done pretty quick, and the air conditioning and the fan was going. So it was sucking it out, so I had to blow all that fog out in one, in one specific area, and I needed a lot at once because I needed, I needed just enough to get the picture, obviously, but it wasn't enough that it was lingering because, because it was being taken out. Both of them are hard to control. 
I'd say the fog is probably a little bit more hard because it, because it's stronger. And if there's any kind of wind or anything at all, any kind of directional wind going, then it's gonna, it really, you can't tell where it's gonna go, honestly. It changes even in a room when it's a controlled environment, not even outside. So that's why it's stronger over here. That still looks really cool. You just gotta understand that, you know, it may not be exactly where you want it all the time. Had I tried to use the haze machine on this shoot, it would not have worked because we actually, I remember a different upward shoot that I used a similar setup, the air was going and it was taking it out. So I actually had to find the maintenance guy and had him go turn the air conditioner off for us because it, we didn't know where it was in the gym and it, it, we couldn't, it wasn't gonna work. But had I not been able to do that, I, I wouldn't have been able to, to get the shoot to look this good because it, the fog wouldn't have stayed around. This, so I learned my lesson, I took both to this shoot and that way I was able, I couldn't use the haze, so you know I, I was forced to use the fog, which is fine. A little bit different look, but we still got what we wanted. All right, so that was a quick video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, if you got something out of it, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so that you know when we post new content, there's gonna be a lot more to come. Thanks for watching.